Dear colleagues, this is a white cataract. Let us see how the surgery proceeds. This is the main incision. It is a 2.8 millimeter incision. And now, a side port is made on the left side of the main incision. In this case, I am going to manage with only on side port. Now, this is a big air bubble and underneath this air bubble, I am injecting tripan blue dye 0.06 percent now i don't wait for a long time after five six seconds i wash the dye out of the anterior chamber that's it now viscoelastic substance is used to fill up the anterior chamber here it is this is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now I have to do capsular axis. I take a bent needle, go through the main incision and incise the capsule and raise a flap like this. Now I hold this capsular tag with uterta forceps, go anticlockwise, and I try to remain at equal distance all around from the margin of the dilated people and thus I get a fairly round rexus. Now hydro dissection is being done. Little bit of hydro dissection. Don't inject a lot of fluid at on go. The posterior capsule may rupture if you inject too much fluid very rapidly. Now, viscoelastic substance has been injected and the tip of the FACO hand base is introduced through the main incision for emulsification of the nucleus. This is Oatly Cataryx three FACO machine. Irrigation is on. I go bevel down. Aspirate some superficial cortical lens matter. Turn, make the bevel up. And now in this case, I'm going to do direct chop, direct vertical chop. Here it is. Hold the nucleus at the center and chop it like this. When the chopper comes very close to the FACO tip and the tip is at the center of the nucleus, then vertical chop happens. That's it. The nucleus has been chopped into several fragments. Ultrasonic energy is used to emulsify these fragments and they are removed. This is the last piece, last portion of the nucleus. The epinucleus is protecting the posterior capsule. Now the epinucleus is also removed. Antichamber was very stable and there was no risk of postricapsular trend in this case. And now cortical cleanup is being done with a Simco cannula. I have only one side port and I can't. use bimanual irrigation aspiration. So the cortical cleanup has been done nicely. Little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done. I have made PC rinse. While polishing the posterior capsule with bimanual IA with Simco cannula so I have a lot of experience in
causing rents and managing those. And this is the intraocular lens, it has gone into the capsular bag and now the lens is placed nicely in the bag. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and the moxifloxacin is being used to hydrate the stroma on either side of the side port. This is VSS. Now I go to higher magnification and see the viscoelastic substance which sticks to the corneal endothelium will come out. Here it is. You can see the visco which sticks to the corneal endothelium came out. And now I come down to lower magnification to a thorough lavage of anterior chamber and form the anterior chamber and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention.